2020. I'm not a morning person, so just keep that in mind. We're not morning people, but I'm definitely not a morning person. But so we have our Turkish coffee to help with that. Cheers. <laughs> Nuri has to be at work in an hour, so we thought we'd squeeze in a little recap of three years ago, before the pandemic, before the mask, for the hand sanitizers to a simpler time. <laughs> Three years ago, we were not doing van life. It wasn't even a thought, and but we love traveling. And this was like our biggest trip we've ever taken together. We'd only been together two years, two or three years. This was like the biggest trip of our lifetime for both of us. It's a big milestone. Yeah, huge milestone. So we spent a few months in Turkey and Europe. We documented a lot, but we never really posted it or um, talked about it much since then. When we got back, we were just exhausted and we were kind of ready for a break from travel and also ready for our next adventure at the same time. So we decided that we're just gonna look over photos and videos from that beautiful time and just kind of recap and reminisce and react and remember <laughs> in the early morning it's gonna be a surprise for me as well yeah we haven't really done this yet it's been kind of three years since we've even seen this documentation so first we went to Istanbul because Nuri's friend was getting married. So we were in Istanbul a week or two with all the wedding festivities, hanging out with the family. It was my first time going to a Turkish wedding, so that was cool for me. Uh, that looks crazy. I remember those. Uh, I, those are my lucid dream yeah, sleep masks. Yeah, lucid dream sleeping masks. I remember that. <laughs> Okay, that was my book for the plane ride. Yeah, that's, you got how many books, couple books that you were reading? That, that was the only one. It was the only I one. I finished it within a few days. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> where is, so good. is there more? Yeah. Oh, and Olive, Nuri's friend, Olive let us stay at her beautiful uh, place and we had this I was telling gorgeous Arda, garden yeah I was telling her how shit he was in that time I don't know if, like <laughs> what happened now but. yeah that's Nari's friend Arda from school he's so sweet and we just had a little he just stopped by so we could hang out with him yeah that was and the beautiful garden that was fun absolutely beautiful we didn't even have to share it with anybody like the people yeah. living there, they just weren't really around. So while there is watering the plants, we are in Chengalke and having fun. It's a beautiful night. Really a beautiful night. Yep. And then at night we were watering the garden and there are these huge snails. They're like massive snails. I've never watering, seen anything that big the before and they were so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I fell in love with snails. It wasn't as exciting for me. I grew up with them. <laughs> yeah, I did, I did not. Where I grew up, if you ever saw a snail, it was like tiny tiny tiny i'm not sure what the reason for that is maybe pesticides 
possibly. Yeah, every once in a while we have to wash or repaint the houses because snails snail. keep walking on the walls in the house <laughs> in Turkey, <laughs> in my village. They're so slimy. There are so many snails that you have to keep repainting your house because they keep walking, sliming all over yep, it. Yep. Oh my gosh. Snail what, trail. What a terrible problem to have. Yeah. <laughs> Too many snails. <laughs> they're, they're... Oh, more snails. That was, I think, more than Valerie's excitement about the snail. I was like surprised about Valerie's excitement of the snail. So, he couldn't believe how excited someone would be about a snail. About a snail. I mean, felt like so normal to me. They really, hated like... them so much. Not like I mean we don't really hate or love we just have a neutral relationship. Okay, this is in Istanbul. What part of Istanbul is oh this? Oh my god, that's uh, Istanbul. I think it's Kadıköy. Kadıköy. Kadıköy. Yeah. Kadıköy. Istanbul. I don't even remember this. <laughs> I do. So you're walking around and. We saw this singer, so we stopped and listened. It was beautiful. I think it's a song or style from Black Sea region. Mm. Yeah. Black Sea. <laughs> We took a lot of ferries across the Bos Bosporus. Bosporus, yeah. Bosporus. It's not quite a river. It's not as big, big enough to be a river, but it feels like a river because it flows through the middle of Istanbul. And you either have to take a bridge over it, um, connecting the Asian and European sides, or a ferry. There's all kinds of ferries going back and forth. Honestly, this is probably the most fun part of Istanbul. Like Going back and forth? Just being on this boat, like, and the there's like tower. boats going up, like, cross every, like, 10 minutes. You can get one of them easily and jump on them. Just staying there and with interacting with the birds, feed, you, you can feed them or you can just watch them. And just watching the whole boat, European and Asian side is the most beautiful part. That's Maiden Tower. Mm -hmm. Is there a story about the Maiden Tower? There's myths. Um, like, the king put the, uh, her daughter there because she was cursed or something. So, and she was, not she was cursed, she was gonna get killed. So no one could reach there. But, she died anyway because snakes managed to get there through water and I don't know, like there's like wow. <laughs> the Okay. So maybe it's haunted. Or it might like there might be other stories. I there's all kinds of stories when it comes to those. Oh. Footage is pretty amateur. Yeah, and this is, we just had our iPhones to film, we weren't using any special camera. Fishing bridge, isn't it? Yeah, Galata Bridge. Galata Bridge. Yeah, so we are in Istanbul 
on we're walking on the Galata bridge and as usual there are fishermen they're fishing and it's a late afternoon Today is the 1st of May, here is a holiday, for workers holiday, so everyone should be on holiday and we're supposed to go, where are we going, uh, Kilios, so which is super far, we're gonna be taking a, we're gonna find a way to go Besiktas and from there, Besiktas is super close and we're gonna go to Sarajevo. And after Saria, we're gonna take a cab, maybe, to go to the yeah. It's super old. Right? Yeah, that's old. Super old bridge. Yeah. Then, in old times, this bridge used to open up, so uh, ships could pass through. That guy has such a good character. And under the bridge are restaurants that sell the fish that they catch. Yeah. Well, I forgot to show you. See this beautiful tower. Galata Tower is right there. Standing strong. Let's to visit our friend Seshul, who was in who is an English teacher and she studied in the United States um, but she lives in Istanbul up by the Black Sea yeah. what is the area called where she lives um, so, so we're in Kilios right Sechil we're in Kilios right yeah okay hey Sechil so, happy I'm happy <laughs> So, do you know all the names of the puppies? No. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, puppy. Hello, puppy. And this is your beach, and you have the Burj Beach over there. Yeah, but yeah, Burj Beach is more, more like a beach resort complex. So next time I'll show you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we'll come for like a little longer here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's quite far we had to travel quite far to get up to her but it's beautiful as you see there are dogs everywhere and a beautiful beach yeah. she teaches the english there my style going on though <laughs> with that furry yeah. jacket yeah it's always colder than i think it's gonna be in turkey in istanbul the wind yeah. comes through the breeze and we fell asleep on the on the bus because we were so tired. We were trying to pack so much fun and stuff into a short amount of time, and we're constantly going here and there. And just the bus ride from the beach to her apartment, we were we fell asleep. <laughs> it's the best sleep ever. And then we went to her apartment, and we did karaoke. With her friend Rayson, I think her name is. I forget her name. And but... we're back on another ferry to go to another place. Those are people sitting above with their feet hanging down. Yeah. It's one of the beautiful bridges. And some street vendors. Coffee. Coffee. What kind of, what is the oh, place? Oh, that's actually, it says leather products. I, I thought it was kept. Yeah. What is it? What's the name of that place? Do you remember? Which one? This place. Uh, one of the koi's. If it's not karakoi, it's karakoi. Oh, mm. this is probably karakoi, dark village. <laughs> dark village. <laughs> I don't know. Like I have to see more pictures. So. Okay. Oh, I think it is. Not that right. it is Sultan Ahmed. It is um, when we park Alaskar 
Oh, I don't remember this, but this is really cool. Okay. I've, I don't know if they have this in the U.S. or not, but... They have so limited space that they have yeah, to come up with that so very formula. very creative. <laughs> if they don't have all the expansive, yeah. not expensive, expansive, massive space that the U.S. has. The dictionary. Yeah. <laughs> That. And there's our friend Olive graciously driving us through the city yeah. in her little VW bug. Yeah. That's, I really love that those areas. There's always something going on and it's so rich. It's not like pale as enough here. <laughs> yeah, it's colorful, it's vibrant, it's lively. There are people everywhere, on the street, fishing, doing something. It's full image. It's not like staging it like here. It's like yeah. really painted full image. Castle. Yeah. And this one I'm gonna have to do some editing, <laughs> but... <laughs> we just thought it was... Then! <laughs> interesting that... The juxtaposition between this... <laughs> slogan and the innocence of the children surrounding they probably don't even know what it says and since it's English maybe people just don't pay attention to it or something but it's just so extremely vulgar in America is simple it's just not it doesn't carry yeah. the same meaning or yeah. weight <laughs> just an English word yeah like I would be shocked to see that in the US Size. I always confused, you know, uh, Count of Dracula. Yeah, Count. So, like, I was like, we had a class, and there's this that uh, everyone was saying, Count of Count, Count, Count, Count of Dracula. I was like, and the what? The way you say Count, you probably don't pronounce it all the way. Yeah, Count. <laughs> and then I was like, what the heck? This is a, such a free class. Like even teacher is cursing. <laughs> uh, like I was like trying to understand what they're referring, because my mind was all, all, already on that, you know, bad word. I was like, what the heck? <laughs> I'm not supposed to say that. <laughs> In the classroom. Yeah. Yeah. We were at a cafe. professor yeah. he's he's a really amazing he's being really helpful when um you were trying to come to the u.s he yeah. was really helpful to, for support and motivation and he's a great friend yeah he was giving me like super important direction in yeah. that time and whenever i felt like it's not possible he was giving me more courage and than i needed so that's awesome. Yeah. That's the kind of friends you need in your life. Okay, now finally, we made it to um, the family. My so, lovely family. Yeah. <laughs> so when Nuri was in Izmir, or you were in, what's the? Izmir. Like, okay, when you were in Izmir. I love the <laughs> in the summer doing your caricatures this is when you met this family right not his Mer Mersin. Okay, that's what i'm trying to uh, think Mersin. in Mersin, he met them which but, is mediterranean but then they moved to izmir yeah they they're originally from izmir but they were uh you know they t they moved to Mersin for their life and then <clears throat> Later on, they decided to go back to their hometown, which is Izmir. And yeah, I met them uh, in Mersin, which is closer to my hometown. And then they moved to their hometown and I went there as well. So Yeah. So he calls them 
Ane and Baba, which means mom and dad. So, they're my like second mom and dad. Yeah, so they're like the yeah second family, the uh, West Coast family. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I have East <laughs> Coast and West Coast, East Coast family. East Coast family and West Coast family. Yeah. <laughs> and they're the family I chose. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So they're really sweet, and this is the second time I met them. And we're just hanging out for wedding festivities because his sister, Eje, was getting married. Yeah. And um, so we were there for that. Hanging out. We went to, um, we took Eje and her fiance to a massage, not massage, yeah, massage place, a spa. A Turkish spa. It was super nice. We did like the sauna room. We got massages, like couples massages. It was good. I'd never had a professional massage before. So that was nice. And then we were nice and relaxed and we went out to eat again at this cool seafood restaurant. So much eating. <laughs> I think we had some raka too. Yeah, raka is Turkish it's traditional like alcohol. The, it's like the vodka of Russia. And of course, there are always cats. Everywhere you go, there are cats in Istanbul. Cat wants to go inside, but. Yeah, they're not allowed. Beni al di ama nasıl kapasın? She's like tossing her, her hat or his hat to her, like take me inside. <laughs> Look at how cute they are. Ay, ne güzel her ya. Alright, so it's the wedding day. Yeah, no. there's... For wedding, there's like ton of preparation. They do it very differently than in the U.S. At least with my experience of weddings. Um, so, in the U.S., um, usually it's a tradition that the bride and groom don't see each other until the bride walks down the aisle. But in um, this one. It doesn't matter. They see each other while they're getting ready. And so the bride and all the ladies get ready in one one salon and then like right next door the men are getting ready in the salon yeah. next door. Yeah. And then she looks so European. Yeah. Like that. She looks so beautiful. It gives me very vintage vibes. Yeah, especially with that sticker. Yeah, so <laughs> it's kind of different. And then the even uh, this even the ceremony is different. Um, in the U.S., you, traditionally it's like the the bride's family sits on one side of the aisle. It's like church style, one side of the aisle, and then the groom's family sits on the other side of the aisle, and then the bride's mom or dad or both walk her down the aisle to the groom who's waiting for her at the, at the front. So they bring her to the groom, and then they perform this like sacred ceremony. Traditionally, it's <clears throat> in the Christian faith or whatever, like a, it'll be in a church and a pastor will ordain them and officiate the marriage. Um, they become husband and wife, they kiss, and then they walk back down the aisle, songs are playing, it's super traditional. And I was surprised to find um, this wedding in Istanbul. It's super uh, like non-sacred. Uh, secular I guess they just go to this it's almost like a city hall or something and they um, everyone just goes into this room so 
Türkiye'nin misafirlerimiz çiftimizin nikah şöhretlerini davet ediyorum. Sayın Abdurrahim Onan Şanlı ve Sayın Ekrem Göksu. Room, they go up on a stage. There's like an officiant and there are witnesses and they just kind of like sign a paper and just say I do. They say yeah. Evet, yes or no and then they're married and it's super it feels really official. It's just so different than what I'm used to. Ekrem Göksun. Abdurrahim Olat Şanlı. Teşekkür ederim. Birbirinizle evlenmek istediğinizi belediyemize yazılı olarak beyan ettiniz. Beyanlarınıza da kalmadan kendi özgür iradenizle evlenmek istiyor musunuz? Evet. Ufuk Bey, Ece Hanım'la kimsenin tesiri altında kalmadan evlenmek istiyor musunuz? Evet. İstediklerini duydunuz, şahitlik ediyor musunuz? Evet. Evet. Benim ve şahitlerin huzur olduğu yetkiye dayanarak sizleri karı koca ilan ediyorum. Hayırlı olsun. And then they go, relax, everybody changes into even more elaborate outfits and then the party starts. So there's like a wardrobe change, which I've never seen for a wedding. Usually um, in the US, the weddings, we just wear the same thing for the ceremony and the reception. And it's usually not too formal. It's like usually short dresses unless you're part of the wedding party. But here, all the ladies have on floor length gowns. Like their hair is all done up. It is just to the nines, yep. as they say. I was quite impressed with everyone's get up. I felt underdressed, <laughs> but. Oh, and then after the ceremony, they stand in like the hallway and then um, family and friends walk by and there are these sashes that the bride and groom wear and they pin money to the sashes. So like instead of bringing gifts, they just go and pin money to the sashes for the new bride and groom, which I think is pretty cool. And then we made our way to the to the reception. We found we were just kind of clowning around and we found a stairway to nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Closes. It's an interesting place. And it had a beautiful view. I'm not sure where this was, but we had to travel really far to get here. It was still part of Istanbul, I think. Yes, it was, it was a little odd. It was really far out. Yeah. But it was beautiful. It was right next to a pool. It rained, but then it stopped right when everybody yeah, was, was ready. Yeah, it was perfect timing. Yeah, it was perfect timing for that. There's lots of fireworks and lights. It's all flashy and sparkly. Glitz, glamour, very kind of Hollywood. They're walking down the yeah. red carpet. <laughs> like, overall, I'd say it's a lot more flashy or glitzy than a US typical wedding. At least what I'm used to. I've only been to weddings in the South. Maybe that's just how Southern weddings are. <laughs> so much fun.
fun in that day. It was so fun. And they're dancing to their song. They have like the paparazzi surrounding them. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of cameras. Only fools I didn't have one. I was not prepared because it was June and I I just thought it would be warm because it's summer, but I was wrong. Not prepared. Like I think I had warm clothes, but they weren't really appropriate for a wedding. can come to them and they can just relax the food was great we had lots of rocket of course <laughs> that's Nuri's little brother Kyra. Ky Kyra Kyra he's all grown up now and lots of dancing. I love the dancing. I learned the halai hal halai dance, which was <laughs> it's like U.S. weddings have the uh, the cupid shuffle, and Turkish weddings have the halai. So I learned the <laughs> traditional wedding dance, which was super fun. I don't think we filmed it, but she's, you can Google it. She's dancing better than I do in Turkish. Yeah, I learned, I picked it up pretty quickly, but I'm more of a dancer than yeah. sweetener over here. He's, he's a good painter. <laughs> That's all I can do. <laughs> <laughs> So I was picking up some new moves, lots of hand movements, lots of clapping. Oh my god, look at I got it, I had it down. <laughs> Anna, Anna looks so crazy. Yes, yeah, she does. Everyone's so beautiful and happy. Oh my god. Snapping it's too. It's funny, lots like all all big men's playing, dancing. Yeah, <laughs> like even the older that. men are joining in the fun. <laughs> so much fun. The cake's not even real, is it? So they have this fake cake, right? Yeah, that's like, it. No, I don't know. Some parts cake, fake, some yeah, parts real. Yeah, it's like the whole, the cake is just for show. It's not, the whole thing is not real. Yeah. In the US, the whole thing's real, but it's usually not that big. And they, they also, Bride and groom will cut the cake together and then they serve it to the guests. 
That's it. That's Edge's favorite song. Lots of attention on the bride. I love weddings so much. I want to go to one. Isn't it amazing? Yes. This was definitely... I've been to a lot of weddings. At my age, all my friends are already married. I've been to a lot of weddings. And this was probably the most fun I've ever had. At a wedding. Yeah. <laughs> Like, there's just a lot of emphasis on dancing. And you know, I love to dance, so. Okay, the Macarena came on and you know in the 90s it was popular dance in the US and it seems like no one else knew knew the Macarena except for me and they wanted me to teach <laughs> the Macarena so so I did <laughs> And then they were teaching me a dance. I'm not sure what this one's called. <laughs> but it was fun. I had a lot of racket at this point. Elif was showing me how to shake my hands the right way. And I have to say it was quite fun. <laughs> Sen de gitsene, sen de git Kayla. Geç ya, Elif'in yanına geç. <gülüyor> Ay Allah'ım adım ya, Allah'ım diyorum. <gülüyor> <gülüyor> <gülüyor> Pretty love. I think this is the next day when we're kind of hungover. We're hanging out with Olive and her mother. Rest in peace. But Olive lives in one of those older houses. And she has this beautiful pool and like outdoor area. It's so nice to have brunch or breakfast. Armosh. Armosh, yeah, rest in peace. And she wanted me to do some modeling for her clothing line. So that's what I was doing there. She's a fashion designer. And that's how Nuri met her. Because she was teaching at the art college you were going to, right? Yeah. That's, well, I met her actually through Kutlai from Izmir first. The sunsets are so beautiful in the Bosporus. And you have the uh, the mosque on the the horizon, and the sun sets behind the mosque. It's just so beautiful. There you can see it. Yeah, that's a very classic uh, Istanbul silhouette. So photographs, yeah. Landscape. Landscape. What is it called? Yeah, City silly cityscape. Cityscape, skyscape, or something. Yeah. Cityscape. Cityscape. Yeah. 
think that that wraps up Istanbul. We'll come back with more recaps. Are we gonna go to Cappadocia? Yeah. Well, not in this trip. That was our first Turkish trip. Remember? Oh. This is the second time. That's right. I keep forgetting. The first time we went to Turkey together was in 2016. This is 2017, when we went to Turkey and Europe. Yeah. Okay. This, this is... is just the beginning of our trip, our two and a half month trip. Yeah. And we're going to be going to Nuri's hometown in southern Turkey, Adana and Kaderli. Yeah. It's totally different from Istanbul, equally as beautiful. And we'll pick you back up. Yeah. Then. That sounds good. <laughs> That's a good memory refreshing too.